okay people uh, like the hippo lecture I put up the other day um, I guess I can't call it a lecture it's really just more an examination of a few games very simply uh, if you go to chessgames.com you can uh, look at these games in more depth and see some comments from others on them uh, if you play the hippo or have thoughts on these games uh, let me know uh, so this is Boris Spassky. Uh you can see the place in the year in the screen I can't pronounce who's playing black here although he's well known for commonly playing uh, the modern defense in the hippo and so here he loses to Spassky and two years later Spassky plays the hippo as black in his uh, world championship matches versus uh, Tigran Petrosian um, so we'll look at those in a second too so slightly different move order here uh, black plays a6 before d6 but white plays classically bc4 then bg5 and then the eventual a5 nowadays it seems like uh, white plays a5 immediately I'm sorry a4 uh, immediately in response to uh, a6 so both sides castle and then we see uh, again all the action is largely on the king's side this game is a bit different in that um, the rook has moved over here with the major pieces all on the queen's side even though the action happens on the f file we'll see and I think uh, Black's problem here is eventually he plays f5 without enough support perhaps for it. Uh, in some of the other games we look at we also see the knights tend to end up on f6 and h5 and that does not happen in this game. Now look, almost all the pawns are on the 6th rank. So there's the first uh, move to the 5th rank by Black. And this move, uh, I think, cost in the game f5 at that point. A few moves later, he resigns. That's it. So uh, let's move on to. Well, before we get to the Spassky Petrosian games, here's one more game with the same player uh, as Black, Maximilian. Utelki versus the famous uh, attacking and sacrificing player uh, Nezmedinov and he seems to be stumped as to what to do versus this bizarre opening so again a pretty usual setup um, although in this case white doesn't castle and neither does black at least right away. I don't think he does it all in this game. And as in the later games, playing the hippo in the 70s and 90s and 2000 and the, the century, uh, in this game we don't see the knight positions on NH5 and F6. Now look, oh, those pawns all across B6. So it's a 20 fourth move and we still have yet to have a single um, capture on either side it's almost as if black was just dithering around waiting for white to make a mistake and I won't go real far into this game because I don't have a lot to say other than uh, it's just almost sort of a humorous game with Nesmenov not quite sure where exactly he's to get a handle on things let's just jump to the end 75 moves later white has two queens and a rook on the board and uh, but ends up resigning black's next move is going to be knight a6 All right, let's go to the two Spassky games in the championship versus Petrosian. This is round 16, and here's round 12. Okay, here's the one we want. So now we're playing with a pawn on c4, which is a bit different. 
white castles. Black again goes into a different set of moves to reach his position. Uh, he then castles. In most of the games, we don't see Black castle very early, or if at all. So Spassky keeps his, one of his rooks over here on the king's side and puts his knights into very active play. When he was playing white versus the hippo, you saw black didn't do that. Black had his major pieces over here. Oddly enough, Spassky um, doesn't keep his bishop, or doesn't have his bishop on b7. In any case, this ends up... Uh, be in a draw. I forget after how many moves. After 39 moves. The other Petrosian Spassky game in the same championship. This is the 16th round in Moscow 1966. Here we go. Again, now this is a different setup by White than we've seen. But the outcome ends up being the same, uh, a draw. So perhaps Spassky chose these uh, strategically just to play for draws. So uh, next I'll put up a few games played in uh, the year 2000 by a bunch of very high level players including Nigel Short and whatnot uh, and Anthony Miles uh, using um, uh, the Hippo. That'll be next.